All right, we're back with more Final Fantasy 14 bullshit. And we're finally doing this. We've got the undersized party we need. So welcome to Battle of the Big Keep. At long last, we meet again on the battle. I dare say Inkita will come to enjoy our tussles as much as I. You, however, might not find this one so enjoyable. Unless you enjoy getting pounded senseless. Ha! <sighs> Let's just do this, please. I am probably going to lose aggro like something fierce. Luckily, Ruby's a healer. Wait, we have three tanks in here? Oh, there's no way I'm getting aggro. Alright, let's do this. That's Leroy Jenkins' ass! To my side, Enkidu! The battle is joined! Ow! It hurts! It hurts! Enkidu! Your master wants for sucker. Damn it, I'm a chicken! Why? Why me? We're running around like chickens with our heads cut off! Oh, hello, Gilgamesh! Following me again now, are ya? Fight on, Enkidu! My ever-faithful- Hmm? Enkidu! Are the bonds of our friendship really so fragile? I'm just spit all over my mic. Me? Run away? Ha! I was beseeching a more suitable spot for my glorious victory, but enough exposition. Now we fight like men and ladies and ladies who dress like men. <laughs> for Gilgamesh, it's transmogrifying time. Here comes the bullshit. The mightiest warrior ever to grace Aeosia stands before you. By which I, I mean I, Gilgamesh! Prepare yourself! Let's do this! You'll get no quarter from me this time! Have at thee! You have some skill, I'll give you that! But Gilgamesh has only just begun to fight!
Most impressive. Very well. I too shall fight with all my strength. Uh-oh, someone just woke the dragon! Not the strongest of swords, but it will suffice. And now for something truly shocking! What's the matter, friend? All tied up? Yoga mesh in the mood for dancing! No! The mighty Gilgamesh will not be defeated! Enough expository banter! To think that my full complement of arms would avail me not! No more hijinks from Gilgamesh! You have my word! The Treaty Blade too. I shall return! Just as soon as I remember where I hid it! Anyway, I yield to your unparalleled prescience! Spare my insignificant life, I beg you! What the fucking do? We finally did finish this. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Alright, let's roll on the loop. Oh well. I didn't need the chicken anyway. Not! Ha! I lied! Again! Like a rug! Oh, kill me! <laughs> you can take that fusty old blade for all I care. I thirst for true power, and not if the strongest of swords will suffice. Warrior of light, you have proven a worthy opponent, but I warn you, treasure every moment with your weapon. For sure, the day follows night, and the armor will come when I claim it as my own. Till we meet again! What ho, Bayan? Have you seen Greg and his oversized avian companion? Lead me to them at once, and we shall deliver the coup de grace together! The battle has already been won. That is triumphant news indeed! Clearly, the lessons you have learned from me have not been for naught. 
And what's this you say? The treaty blade lies hidden somewhere in the nearby wood. Worry not, my ever loyal associate, for no burial Harry treasure will escape the keen eye of Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. Now, which way was the forest again? Bayon, what news of the primal and the treaty blade? Remarkable! I knew the Warrior of Light would emerge triumphant. Let us hope that Inspector Hildebrand enjoys similar success in finding the blade. Such design, such craftsmanship, at once bold and powerful, yet sensitive and refined. I believe I've found the inspiration for my next masterpiece. Of course they're beautiful. They were the greatest treasures of lost to Sildir. To think that they were locked away in the vaults of those that destroyed our homeland and dragged our ancestors' names through the mud. And just how did you come to know of these long-lost relics? There was an ancient scroll passed down in our family, left to us by our dear grandmother. It spoke of four warriors of light, their four relics, and an incantation of untold power. If we could have wielded this magic of legend, Ali and I might still have had the last laugh. Alas, speaking the words had no effect. Only a warrior of light can wield the power, or so the legend goes. <sighs> what I wouldn't have given to see it. The ultimate achievement of the greatest mages the realm has ever known. And just what sort of incantation is this? The ring casts open the doors of justice. The wise men whispers a verdict true. Azema's virtue shines down from the heavens. To complete the incantation, the warrior of light would then hold forth the treaty blade and speak... Blade in hand, I swear unto you. The legends differ as to what happens next, but all speak of a great holy radiance shining down from the heavens. Over here, friends! Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, returns with tidings most triumphant! <laughs> Whoop the fucking do! Behold, safe in my hands, none other than the Treaty Blade, and the real one, this time I swear unto you. Yes, yes, just like that. I swear unto you. Then... Hmm? My word. Whatever is this odd tingling sensation? R ridiculous Hildebrand isn't a warrior of light. He's just some fool who thought he could stop the lesser moon with his own bare hands. It would seem the Treaty Blade is just as confused as the rest of us. No. The light! Someone stop it! I won't stand to see the legendary power of our forefathers wielded by this muscle-bound buffoon! Skyward Ho! <laughs> well, I dare say that proved to be the most useful incantation indeed. And so the light of justice that shone from the treaty blade banished the shadow, returning peace to the land. So the legend ended. I must say I never expected it to be quite literally a beam of light. I suppose it wouldn't have been much use to us after all. Inspector! Oh, Inspector! Wait for me! Uh, I can't do Nashi's voice. Go! 
balls, balls, Hildy. First you almost died at your poor mother's feet, and now you fly off to God's no- Oh, well, without even giving your head a kiss goodbye? <laughs> ho, ho, ho! It appears that a case of wanderlust has once again struck Hildebrand, as it has many a Mandeville man before him. Godspeed, my boy! When the day comes that you tire of your mystery solving, your dear old man will be here to pass on to you the family art. So in the end, the Sildin incantation of legend was yielded not by a warrior of light, but a gentleman of light. Well, the treaty blade is some six centuries old, after all. Perhaps it is not as quite as sharp as it used to be. The magic that brought peace and happiness to the people of Belladea. It was every bit as beautiful as I imagined. To think I would see it with my own eyes. It's nothing short of a dream come true. Hmm. <laughs> he bumbles and stumbles through yet another case. And still he manages to make a girl's dream come true. A gentleman to the end. The bloody bastard. What's this? A glint in the corner of my eye? A curious scent, wafting on in the winds from a far-flung land? Do I smell... a case? Worry not for me, he my friends! Forever the wrong one for succor! I, Hildebrand, shall be there! Till we meet again! Yeah, that that definitely should have faded off like that. And with the quest complete, we have this. Hildebrand will return? What? Thank you! And the quest, I'll be there for you. Well, the achievement. So yeah, that's it for the Hildebrand arc of A Realm Reborn. Um, so, I am going to relax for a little while, and, uh, we're returning in a little bit. Until then, Kruznikex, out!